My name is Melanie Deronio, reporter with Westford Cat, and here is the January 21st edition of Westford Cat News. In a joint meeting, the Finance Committee and Select Board reviewed the FY25 budget and its impacts on several departments in town with two proposed budgets. The Select Board, Finance Committee, and School Committee began to meet individually as early as January 2023 to highlight potential challenges in the budget. Kristen Loss and Superintendent of Schools Dr. Christopher Chu prepared two budgets, one requiring a Proposition 2.5 override and a balanced budget with, quote, significant cuts that would meet the Proposition 2.5 limit. Loss and Dr. Chu then presented their budgets to the Select Board and School Committee in December of 2023. In January and February 2024, the Finance Committee began to host a series of public hearings to review the budgets and field public input before finalizing the budget for town meeting in March. The budget is extremely tight again this year, both scenarios to be honest. But we are taking um, all of the comments that come from the Finance Committee, all of the comments that come from the public extremely seriously under these conditions. In a scenario where the override fails, public safety and works, culture and recreation, and enterprise departments would see reductions in their service hours and utilities. This includes the budgets for the Public Works, J.V. Fletcher Library, and Recreation Department. J.V. Fletcher Library Director Ellen Rainville said, quote, under the failed budget, we definitely would have to apply to the Board of Library Commissioners for a waiver because we would not meet the municipal appropriation requirements, end quote. Director of Recreation Michelle Collette said, quote, it might be challenging to hire the necessary staff members to run programs and the department's ability to stay competitive in and around Westford. Reduced enrollment means reduced revenue, end quote. The Select Board will host several meetings for residents to attend leading up to the annual town meeting on March 23rd and the annual town election on May 7th. Residents can stay involved by attending the virtual finance committee budget hearings and visiting the budget page on the Westford website. Educational videos regarding the budget task force's findings are also available here on Westford Cat. The school committee voted to move forward with the FY25 budget with an override during their continued budget discussion. The non-override was not endorsed, but will be discussed during a joint meeting with the Finance Committee on Thursday. The school committee has met with the Select Board and Finance Committee since January 2023 to highlight challenges within the budget and try to balance it. On Thursday, the school committee will present with the Finance Committee during their budget hearing at Town Hall. These hearings will be held through February 1st. Committee members also addressed their concerns regarding the additional reductions in the non-override, wanting to be consistent and not eliminate student opportunities. A discussion about the non-override budget would cover fees specifically for busing, breakdown of athletics requirements, and curriculum coordinator reorganizations. Vice Chair Catherine Clear wants to add changes to the budget that give more support to interventionalists and literary specialists. She says she, quote, struggled with the suggestion that we would look at removing interventionists and literary specialists from the middle and elementary schools, end quote. She added that she, quote, didn't want the school committee to take a vote right now and park up that budget discussion without looking at these other options, end quote. Young concluded the meeting with words of acknowledgement to her fellow committee members and the greater Westford community. I know it's a sensitive, delicate, hard conversation, but we're all here for good reasons, and we're going to keep figuring out together, she said. A proposed pear and polyfluorokill substances private drinking water while testing program may now move forward, as the select board voted unanimously to approve the project on December 9th. The Select Board previously approved $20,000 in American Rescue Plan Act funds on June 6, 2023 for the project. 50 households with private drinking wells are eligible for the program based on location and availability. Testing of irrigation wells and reimbursement of previous PFAS well testing are not eligible for the program. According to Health Director Ray Dick, the department will choose around 10 to 12 wells per quadrant. Approval will be determined based on the location of the applicant's well and its proximity to other applicants. All submissions will be reviewed on a first-come, first-served basis. 
We want to be fair and get a good representative of if there is any PFAS contamination across Westford, Dick said in a January 9th select board meeting. Data will be shared with the Water Department and GIS Department, as well as the greater community to, quote, encourage residents to test if there is a positive sample in their neighborhood, end quote, as stated in a memo from Dick. Application forms can be found online or picked up at the Health Department. Select Board Chair Thomas Clay said, quote, I'm very excited about this project. We've been talking about it for a while, and I'm glad it's coming to the forefront. That's all for this week. I'm Melanie Deronio, and you're watching Westford Cat News.